shall be left desolate, and its fields shall be plowed up, and its roads and all its paths shall bring forth thrones. Man, Thorn, it's thorns. Thorns. A lot. It's just like an I Am Legend. There ain't going to be nowhere to get through. You gonna, then it's going to be military uh, uh, men on one street, yep. and uh, another street, vines and shit, and, and branches, yep. trees falling down, and cars crash. Yep. Yep. So on that, uh, this uh, article out, they're doing talks now that there's like about to put a stop to the interstate travel. Right. Woo, woo, if you ain't got, uh, if you ain't got what they want to do, yes. if you ain't got what Lauren Hill said, that thing. Hey, the do hey, the do the 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 juice of the beast. 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 Juice of Narrow places. So how much more a man? You gonna have to find your way around, or you gonna have to go to the military uh, uh, brigade. Man, they gonna be closing off the cities. Like you got clearance? Are you are you cleared to pass through? Why you gonna be shot on sight? Others are you gonna be taken to the concentration camps? But the men of the Lord, the Lord said you gonna be like a pilgrim in that day. I'm gonna guide you. Where that? Virgins shall mourn because they have no rivals. And so the virgins. To a young women that have not known men, they gonna mourn. Why? Because the men that they, they love, fucking Brad, his ass got shipped off to the war, man. He ain't coming back. You know, so yeah. Women shall mourn because they have no husband. Hey, a lot of these beta male clowns, oh, this is my wife and shit, put wear that white dress at the altar, nigga. <laughs> Yo, you gonna be dead, man. Your right. woman gonna be left alone, and who gonna take her? Soldiers? Or, or an animal or something. And then, or the fans so only need something. It's going to take this. Yeah, that's it. Their daughters shall mourn because they have no help. Now, now their brothers are going to be going and their father. They can help with certain things. Because well, a woman ain't strong, man. Don't get fucking uh, confounded with Wonder Woman and the other clown and Cardi B, <laughs> Cardi B and shit, right. man. You're not stronger than a man. It's just natural. Come on, man. You're not independent. And you're not independent. Hey, like, I, so like, it. Basic like I said earlier, a lot of these women that's being robbed right now, well, I just said it, there's women, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They the ones that's being uh, attacked because they're soft targets. Yeah. Soft targets, man. How much more when the military is here? And, and it's going to be foreign troopers that seen when they were children, the American military or the British fucking military or the French military in their lands, raping their sisters, their cousins, their women, their mothers, their aunts. So they gonna be over in the land like, okay, all right, we here. They, and you know that these heathens ain't got no fucking law, man. Boy, and, like, and American women are hated internationally. Yes, they are. Everybody hates uh, American they women. They hate the pride of you. And then you got these old niggas, man. I hate old niggas smoking cigars, man. I hate them. Hey, like that movie The Purge, that dude was waiting to get at them women, man. So what you think dudes is plotting on in these times? You're like, man, I'm going to go get that bitch, man. Well, they plotting. Yeah. They plotting right now. Just like the devil is plotting to yeah. get the, uh, uh, the woman is I am. Yeah. These men are plotting to get you women, man. That's right. Now, how you women live alone, man? You know, man. That bridegroom shall be killed in war. See, so the ones that they was going to marry, he's going to come back and marry me. They gonna hear that brand ass got fucking shot with a drone or something. Or a robot dog got his ass, man. And the only thing they retrieved was the dog tag of the clown. And a picture of Susan. Go ahead. And their husbands shall perish of famine. Now, a lot of these women that got husbands, they gonna perish of famine because they gonna run out there. All right, baby, I gotta go get it for us. And the nigga ain't never gonna be heard from again, Yeah! Now, they bring it out in uh, Second Edges 15. Second Edges. 15 and 15. 15 and 15. 15 and 15. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. So it's coming. You can't say it's not coming. Don't be lying. It's coming. The sword is drawing nigh. Right. 
For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. The people of this world, boy. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. Race wars are coming to this land. And not only that, civil wars. That's right. You're going to have the, uh, the fucking right wingers yep. versus the left guys. Yep. And they're going to fight. And you niggas going to be in the middle of it. You're going to have to join the side. That's right. Or you're going to be shot down. Then that's when Jay gonna have to band together, but then it's gonna be Jacob's trouble, man. You're gonna be surrounded on all sides, yep. and your power is not gonna be with you. Man, I... And swords in their hands, for there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Can you read that again from the top? It says, For there shall be sedition among men Ooh. and evading one another. Sedition! Uprising of the people against the government, government, a state, or monarch. In this point, a state, because there ain't no kings in this in this land, man. Right? It's the states. So it's gonna be a, a uprising in the states. It's gonna be an uprising in this state. Wait up. Huh? It says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. They ain't gonna regard these high officials, and a lot of these officials ugly ass women, man. Man. The uh, Beetlejuice out there in Chicago. Oh, uh, they got a new clown. Once a Como guy out there, you know, oh, I think it's a woman that they put in there. Kamala Harris? Kamala Harris, ugly self, man. Right? They ain't gonna stop for nothing, man. And when they got a woman, hey, they showed you that in, uh, I believe it was Mexico. They dragged the woman out, put the, threw paint in her fucking face, cursing her out, and dragged her behind a goddamn pickup truck, man. Yeah! It's gonna get to that point, man. Forever purge, man. They gonna have a black, this is a forever purge thing. Yeah, it's gonna get crazy, man. That's right. Man. Reads. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Man, all you gonna hear is purge forever. Woo! Purge forever. <laughs> That's all you gonna fucking hear from moms down the goddamn road. <laughs> nigga riding, the nigga behind him being dragged and shit. You gonna hear the fucking bells ringing, man, like that. The Edomite was fucking salivating for the uh, guns going off. That's, That's right. right. And a man. Shall desire to go into a city, we shall not be able. And they will have the military men like get in your car, and turn around, or you will be shot. But my mother lives in the next. It don't mean nothing to us, man. Get in your car, or you will be shot. And they gonna fucking point the gun at us. Go ahead. For because of their pride, mm. the city shall be troubled. There it is. No. The houses. Their pride. Go ahead. All right. The houses shall be destroyed. Their houses gonna be destroyed by what? The military men, they gonna burn them down like on fucking the Patriot. They gonna have a tank, boom, blow a fucking hole through the shit. They gonna have a battle on rim, taking down the house. They like just leveled it. They might like, fuck going in there, getting their ass out. That's they right. have a drone, Woo! level the place. Yeah! Do, 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 fucking blow the shit up, That's man. right, It's gonna man. be crazy. That's man. right. They gonna have the robot dogs going there. He got the key and shit. Open this shit up and go in there. Yep. R2 coming in the shit up the deep end. Going the fuck up, man. Yep. <laughs> and men and men shall be afraid. Men are gonna be afraid. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They got the drones out there. How much more women and children? That's right. They gonna be had and derision. That's right. Go ahead, huh? It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Hey, your your next door neighbor ain't gonna come getting sugar. He gonna come with a with a Gatling gun or he gonna come with a shotgun in your face. Like, nah, it ain't, ain't like that, homie. You got the game fucked up. I need that food. Yep. My family needs that food. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, give me the hot pockets, I'm going to make you a hot pocket. Right. You know, it's going to be crazy, man. Yo, yo, best homie and shit, you know, uh, uh, Jose and, and, and Juan, they going to be fighting each other. Then you're going to have to deal with Esau. Then you're going to have to deal with the other nation. Then you're going to have to deal with the military. Then you're going to have to deal with the animals. Animals gotta eat, you gonna have a fucking grizzly in your house. Oh shit, you gonna run out the house right into danger, man. Wait, huh? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. No pity. Wait. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. Uh huh. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. They're gonna spoil your goods, and it's not only your finest thing, but well, you got a little pretty old little, little woman over there, man. And bring it closer, Zach. He gonna be like, man, hey, you got a little little pretty woman over there, man. I want that too. They gonna take everything, man. They ain't gonna leave you for nothing, man. Because these niggas don't keep the law. Oh, thou shall not cover your neighbor's wife. It's gonna be crazy out here, man. Yeah.
clear it up. We shall destroy their houses with the sword. With the, with, with, with military grade weapons. The modern day sword is the gun. And there's many of them out here. Yep. And many of you Americans have them. Yep. Go ahead. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. Because there ain't gonna be no food out here when you starving yep. and somebody has a, a gun and you have food, what do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna have food Naturally, the they're gonna come get you out of it. And it's yep. in your Bible. Yep. It's in the Bible. Yep. Nigga, looking at you, man, what y'all talking about? Hey, the Lord is saying it. We just relaying the message. That's right! Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. For great tribulation, man. Can brother get, uh, can you bring that up? Do you get uh, Second Edges 2, 27? For the elect's sake, man, we ain't got nothing to worry about. Know that all these evils are coming for the wicked of our people. Go ahead, huh? Bring that out, Deuteronomy. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31. We we'll begin at verse 16 for uh, context. Start to close out. It says, And the Lord Yehoah said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, whither they go to be among them. And, and that's the same thing our people are doing, man. Once the, <laughs> once the prophets leave until the day that these niggas die, that's that's when they're gonna hear the apostle in their ear, like, oh shit. Or they're gonna hear the apostles, brothers. Oh shit, I heard this somewhere. That's what you're gonna hear, but you went a whoring after these other idols, man. Right. You didn't go and return to your God. You went after the idols. You went after money or, or fame or all this crap, man. But when you at your dying breath, then you're gonna remember the Lord of the Bible and his son. And he ain't gonna see you, man, as nothing. He's gonna be appeased when you give up yeah. your ghost. Hey, he's gonna ignore their cries. Just Ooh. like how they walk past us and ignore us. Like we don't even exist, like we invisible. Well, guess what? When you on your deathbed, when you getting tortured by torments, and you calling on a God of the Bible, He's gonna ignore you. He ain't gonna hear you. Be left in your suffering. That's right. You don't think people was crying to the Lord when the flood was going on? <laughs> but they was getting drowned out. They was banging on the ark, but the Lord drowned them all, man. Except for Noah, man, and his family and the animals in that ark. Man. It says. <clears throat> And go a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, mm -hmm. and will forsake me. Hey, they're doing that right now. They're going a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land. Esau's into his medical trust science and all that crap. But his science ain't never been for your good. It's always been an experiment. Yep. Right? It says, and break my covenant, Damn. which I have made with them. Oh, they, and these niggas really going to break that covenant by taking Marcus out on a date, man. And then they're going to have a date. With the missiles, man. Yep. Mark is gonna invite his homies and shit, and they gonna come through. They gonna, and they gonna wreck shop. <laughs> it says, "Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, man, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them." Now, before the missiles even come, Jake is gonna be had in derision. And how much more you women, like the brother Zion said, I don't know nobody worse than a goddamn woman in this time, in these times that we reading about, even a child. Child, we gotta hey, help him. Mm -hmm. But a fucking woman, they gonna be like, yep. you ain't you ain't done nothing for us. Yep. You been think you was better than us. Hey, men gonna just walk past a nigga dying in the street. They gonna step right over your ass, yep. kick you in the head, probably when they go past. Yep. Like, yep. like a <laughs> nigga Nipsey, you know, when the nigga shot him, he right. kicked it. Like, walk by and kick that bitch in the mouth yourself. There you go. Yeah, that's yeah. That's yeah. Says. <clears throat> And I will hide my face from them, Man. and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them. Now, wow. now, now, Daniel speaks about a time like never before, and we as a people have seen some fucking atrocious times. Yep. Just the world in general. But it's saying that the Lord, that many evils going to befall them and devour them. People are through, man. Right? It says, so that they will say in that day, ooh, man, look, now this is written. They gonna say in their mind, like, what the fuck, ah. Uh, Tyrone got shot. They gonna look at a nigga, shake him. He dead and shit. They gonna be bugging out. And they gonna be scared. They gonna be the last one left. Ah, crying. You know how niggas crying, man. Go ahead, shake him. It says so that they will say in that day. You gonna say in that day. Are not these evils come upon us? 
because our power is not among us. All these evils are upon you because your God is not among you. That's right. That's he ain't right. with you. He's the one actually right. causing the evil. That's right. Because you a goddamn clown. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. I bring that up. This is Colossians 3 and 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. Woo! As it is written. Go ahead. And there is no respect of persons. See, the Lord don't respect persons. So when you get put down, hey, he wants you put down, man. Yep. That's right. You're going to be beat down. Ooh. And you're going to lay down because you didn't want to get down. Oh, yeah. That was it. That was it. Ah, man. You bring that out. Uh, what brother has second I do. Go ahead. This is second is two and 27. It says, Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep. And be sorrowful. Read that again. Sirach, second Ezra 2, verse 27. Says, be not weary. So be not weary, like the brother said. Don't, don't eat fucking uh, abominations when, when you kind of starving a little bit, man. Ain't nothing. Soldier it out, man. Just eat them nuts. Eat, that's what you eat, eat, eat nuts and eat nuts, man. And if, you, and if you ain't got that, eat. In the spirit, That's man. That's right. That's it. Eat in the spirit. The Lord gonna sustain you, man. You know, brothers be going hours long in, in these videos, man. Don't even fucking be feeling thirsty or hungry, man. The Lord gonna sustain you. Come on. Go ahead. It says, "Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, and it will come." Go ahead. And others shall weep and be sorrowful. So you others that know not Yahweh by Shemal Shai, because he's not among you, you gonna be weeping. And howling, and you're gonna be sorrowful for being stupid. That's right. This whole time, man. That that the Lord that you thought you was playing the Lord, but your ass was playing. Go ahead. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Who? The elect is gonna be merry and have abundance. Go ahead. Verse 28 says, The heathen shall envy thee. Hey, the heathen, and even our people <laughs> that's like the heathen, is gonna be envying the men of the Lord. The elect, the ones that they laughed at and scoffed at, that put down all y'all bums. <laughs> but the bums is eating now. We eat, like this brother say, we eat, we gonna eat. Yeah, yeah, consider what this brother's saying, man. In a time of famine, where people don't have enough to get by, the Lord is gonna have have us have abundance, meaning yeah. more than enough, you know? More than what we so, so just have faith in that, man. Have faith, man. There's a whole book of faith, man. Go ahead. Verse 28 again. Says the heathen shall envy thee, but they, hey, they're gonna be beyond envy. <laughs> Says, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee. They ain't gonna be able to do a goddamn thing against the men of the Lord and their families, man. Because you chose, but really you didn't choose nothing. The Lord chose it for you, man. Saith the Lord Yahweh, mm -hmm. Baha Shimei verse 29. Take your time. <laughs> Verse 29, it says, My hands shall cover thee. Hey, what is the hand of the Heavenly Father? Yahweh Shai ultimately is in the midst of those that call on him. Two or three gathered in his name. There he is in the midst. He was in there with the three holy children in the furnace. He's the one that shut the mouths of the lions. Yahweh Yahweh shot when Daniel was in the den with these ravenous beasts. So the Lord is going to be with his people, the elect of his people, and their families. Go ahead. It says, my hands shall cover thee, huh? So that they, so that children shall not see hell. So that your children will not see the grave, but you're gonna see many children through. Where's my mommy? <laughs> walking around and shit. Where's my daddy and shit? Hey, and that's hey, gonna be real, man. Hey, all jokes aside, man, man, you gotta be, you gotta have a cold mindset that day, man. Yep. Like if you're out with your family, just trying to make it, and you can see some, some kids. Like, and they just sitting there starving and through. Yep. Hey, man, you have a whole mindset. Yeah, cold heart. Hey, man, hey, that could be bait for a trust. Right, you right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Hey, remember when uh, Apocalypto, the little girl, they just pushed her with the stick like this. But then she was <laughs> prophesying. <laughs> yeah. But it's going to be like that. You're like, get away, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Even a child. Yep. Even an ugly ass woman, man. We're going to have to just be cold and keep moving like Denzel on Book of Eli. Yep. Stick to the mission. Stay on the path. Stuff, being innocent, right? That's right. You got, you got, that's what, when these scripts come to mind during a time like that, man. That's right. You know, you're not just going to take in every poor soul you see on the street, man. Right. Yep. And so it, it's, 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 when you see a family out in the street with, asking for money, you 
walk quiet. It's the same thing. The Lord is the Lord is actually the Lord is conditioned us to understand what time you live in and fuck you people. Fuck these people. That's right. Because you people have done totally fucking wrong against the Lord. The Lord gonna the Lord gonna really show His hand to His men. And guess what? We gonna eat. We gonna be happy. We gonna be married. You see, you motherfuckers die. That's right. The day that the brothers is talking about at that point. Little children and whoever's left on the earth, they all gonna have the juice yep. and the market of the beast. Yep. So at that point, fuck them. You better off. That's right. Now before you bring that out, the brother gonna bring this up. Cause that's how the Lord gets down. He increases the nations like he did ancient Egypt, just to destroy them at his time. He increased all the other kingdoms and brought them down. He increased Babylon to the places at, and even the pride of all you idiots, only to bring you down and to destroy you. So that you know that there's a power that ruleth in the heavens, man. Go ahead. Job 12 and 14. Behold, he breaketh down, and it cannot be built again. Woo! He shutteth up a man, and there can be no opening. Woo! He shutteth up you people, and he gonna shut you all the way the fuck down. There ain't no opening. <laughs> now can you jump to 23? Right. Verse 23. He increases the nations and destroyeth them. Woo! So the Lord increases your population. And, doo -doo -doo -doo, and he brings it down. Because there's going to be a lot of people transferred to the spirit realm at one time. That's how many people are going to be fucking taken out of this place. But horribly taken out. Yeah. They ain't going to just be like, I just went to sleep and I'm here. No, you're going to be taken out violently. This place going to go down by violence. Right? He enlargeth the nations and straighten them and straighteneth them again. Now that word straighten means he makes it way of difficulty. He's straightening the, this way, man. He said the wrong way leading to destruction. But before that destruction, is going to be a very heavy road. Then he said the, the narrow road is to life. And only few find that. And in them days, the few is going to be getting through. But the rest of y'all, y'all going to be left to your own devices. Right? He take it apart. Yeah, you. He taketh away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth. Man, even your leaders gonna be like, oh, I don't know what to do. Oh. He, they gonna be bugging out. The, the ones that have all the answers, they ain't gonna have the answers in that day. What do we do? Uh -huh. oh. But the ones that had the answers, they gonna be gone. Yeah. It says, and causeth them to wander in in a wilderness, while they, where there is no way. Woo! So he gonna cause you to wander in the wilderness where there's no way. But yet the Lord kept our forefathers in the wilderness, but he destroyed those that believe not. So we gonna end it with this right here. Now this is the book of Romans chapter 13, verse 11. It says in that, knowing the time. Mm, do you know the time? What time is it? I, it's time to wake your ass up, That's man. Right, you right. people, man. It's time for you to know what the truth is. It's time for you to call upon Yahweh by Shema That's right. Now, you don't have to call upon well, I'm going to call Sweet Jesus. Well, you can call where the hell you want to call him. And let's see them save you in that day. But we're going to call on the name of Yahweh by Shema As Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That's right. Yahweh Shai. It says that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Wake up. But our people ain't going to wake up, man. Go ahead. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And the, the elect is looking for that day, man. It's nearer than when we believe. When well, you came into the truth, when the apostles came in, when Abba came on the scene, it's even nearer than that. But the prophecies had to play out, and we right there at the door. Right here. Just open the door. Just open it. Just turn around. Turn around. Open the door. Turn the lights on. Go ahead, huh? It says. <clears throat> Verse 12, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. We had the armor of light. This, this truth is going to light our way in the dark. It's, it's, a, it's a light that shineth even to the day, man. Right? It says, let us walk honestly as in the day. We're going to walk honestly as in the day so that none can say, well, y'all didn't say this and y'all left that out. No, we have not shunned to declare unto you the whole counsel of the Heavenly Father, like Paul said. We are free of the blood of all men, beginning with our apostles and elders, man. We told you, man. It says not 
in rioting and drunkenness. We ain't going to these clubs and, and, and doing what you niggas do, man. We in a very serious mind. Right. We in a soldier's mind, man. Right. Go ahead. It says, not in chambering and wantonness. Doing what you people do. Ain't nothing wrong with getting together, having a good time. We do it amongst our, our own selves. But we still know the mission, man. Finish the mission. Go ahead. Not in strife and envying. Hey, these niggas is envying us. Uh, we ain't striving with you niggas. We don't give a fuck what the devil got, man. We got something greater coming. And amongst brothers, man, we show brotherly love. Let it continue. Hey, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That's right. Go ahead. It says, but put ye on the Lord Yahweh. It's like the Lord Yahweh shine, Masha Yah. Hey, put on the Lord Yahweh shine, man. He overcame death, man. That's right. And even if you do go out, man, the glory is death then. Because you're going to be risen. Go ahead. And make not provision for the flesh. Don't make provision for the flesh. We know you got to eat, you got to drink. The Lord knows that. Have faith, and you gonna eat, and you gonna drink. That's right. Your leg members, as, That's right. at that. Go ahead. To fulfill the lust thereof. Yeah, we won't do it to fulfill our lust, man. We do it just to, to get down, man. We do it because the Lord has blessed us with it. And with that, we give all praise and glory and honor unto Yahweh. Giving double honors unto our apostles, our elders, our teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. That taught us the truth. Beautiful truth, beginning with the names of our power, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, whose name we will call upon to be saved. That's right. And to you hopeful elect members, Lord's one, this has been edified until the next time we say Shalom. 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 GTA above the board. Yeah.